is this a studio logo or part of the credits? I will admit to being an American, and thereby not knowing shit about what language this is or what this symbol means, but I'm genuinely concerned about radiation levels at this point. Reading. 800,000 students boycotted the school and the juvenile crime re adults had lost all comp- Okay, I'm sorry. I'm already lost. Class pictures. <laughs> Narration. Which happens. Moms leave. No need to be a pussy about it. Dropping something to signify shock cliche. Toilet paper suicide note. Why would he take the time to ensure his TP suicide note rolls perfectly into the bathroom? Oh, was it so we could see him puke? Got it. Damn it! Is this entire movie gonna be a non-American? Adult male on middle school bus sitting in the back row between two playful girls. That is definitely a sin, even if I do the same thing in his position. Haha, uh -huh, foreshadowing. We're bad guys, f desks. You mean the teacher from two years ago? One of these kids just said as though there was any debate, but damn, if you taught him two years ago, there is zero debate about your identity. But whatever. These two new classmates, just before the big death competition, will probably not directly impact the big death competition. Later we find out the battle royale has been going on for a few years now, and it gets tons of media coverage. So how can they not know? What kind of movie am I watching here? I don't know if it's something lost in the English translation, but what? Roll credits. <laughs> Katana would be excellent at cinema sins. Cute video girl confuses everything. Now there's satire mixing with extreme violence and there's a tingling in my penis. All strange sensations to be feeling at once. This video suggests there's a website for the Battle Royale, which is sinful enough in and of itself, if these students are unaware of it. But also, they somehow managed to snag BR.com away from Baskin Robbins? F*** off, dude. Hey, video Man, this dude is dedicated to the VCR controls. He paused that shit as soon as Katano killed that girl. He is on point. Foreshadowing photograph just happens to be on the floor next to Nobu, so we can see the cleverness of the foreshadowing. <laughs> These girls appear turned on by death, or sorrow. Why did the eerily prescient adults lay down plastic wrap on only half this room's floor? <laughs> and this game should be easy to win if you're the first person call. What's to prevent the first person from running to the exit and just waiting for each unprepared student to come out and just kill them right there? At least in the Hunger Games, everybody got to go at the same time. Lucky for the class, the wimpiest kid is the first one they call. <laughs> BFFs. Jeez, is the movie gonna announce every kid before the killing starts? Skip. Wait, are those two in love or something? Well, that's not the traditional definition of deep throating, but I think technically it still works. This is all happening right outside where all the kids are running out, so thank God for the crazy delay in kids running out right now so that only this one fat kid has to die. <laughs> Guess we better get a cannon ready. Jeez, if it's just a scratch, why is her sleeve soaked in blood? Battle Royale is a dick to random kids hoping to murder each other. Dude, that was the signal! Second base is open for the taking! What are you waiting for? Director had an obvious disagreement with actor over exactly how much this character loved reading. Well, we're in a cave and no one's looking. I think I could taste it. Oh, you meant the bag of cookies, didn't you? Jesus, a digital map of each contestant on the playing field? I'd say something about The Hunger Games being a ripoff here, but I'd be in danger of ripping off my own video from earlier when I called The Hunger Games a ripoff of this story. Jeez, a fan? I'm not sure if the people running Battle Royale have a sense of humor or if they're just assholes. They could be the guys behind Cinema Sins, for all I know. Morals. These two conscientious objectors are so distraught about the game that they killed themselves, instead of, I don't know, cake decorating themselves to look like trees and merely hiding the entire competition. Whoa, okay, so this is basically Hunger Games meets Kill Bill. Whoever made this movie likes girls in skirts, which is fine as a starting point, and comically violent blood spurting. This is not a healthy combination of interests. Every time someone dies, the movie interrupts itself to tell us, the audience at home, who it was and how many kids are left. Why do you warn them before coming out of the bushes and do it before they even get to your hiding place? Place in the woods has a super long hill to fall down cliche. Yes. Math threatening. Also, no! Damn, they gave at least five people some guns in this, but thought it was really funny to include fans, pans, and binoculars for the others. This idiot charges at a guy holding a shotgun on him. The guy was f***ing yelling. How could you possibly know? This girl is still moving after being riddled with hundreds of bullets. 
This is a funny line, but it's not really a good idea, since the rules state you'll die anyway if you run out of time and you're not the last person standing. Period, Sheriff. Haha, <laughs> gross. Also, what the actual f***? This chick checked a dead body to see if that dead person had previously been having her monthly cycle? Laziness. Also, what is wrong with this girl that she's suddenly unable to walk and shit? Did I miss an illness? This guy says, so that's their trick, out loud, but then starts typing as if he didn't just give the Battle Royale control room a huge clue that he figured this shit out. Also, why don't the Battle Royale people make shelters like this a danger zone? Why give them any place where they might be able to plot stuff like this? This guy is the right idea. Hilarious English translation is hilarious. Homicidal girl kills the element of surprise and waits way too long to shoot this other girl. I can see the dead body breathing. I care about this young romance tragedy, but I'm honestly still freaked out by the period checker girl. Where does a ninth grader get a fucking flask of alcohol? Wait, never mind. I just remember my Uncle Greg. Also, an older former game contestant joining the game? Damn, besides the tampon checking, is there anything in this movie the Hunger Games didn't steal? Everyone who died in this particular battle royale died in this very same spot. They should have known not to come here. This place is cursed with the blood of all the ninth graders. I had to rewind this shit 40 times to figure out what happened. Even if that means exhuming her body for questioning. Oh, f you, character who's only waiting to say the important thing because the screenwriter told him to. The psycho killer can keep up with a bicycle on foot, but somehow misses the dude riding it at point blank range. What a tragic dumbass. The victim stands still and screams instead of runs when he sees a guy with a blade. Characters trying to hide make a stupid noise so the villain can be alerted to their presence cliche. I know this is a bad guy, so he probably has terrible aim, but those bullets are also pretty shitty about going through wood, right? Okay, wow, he's not terrible at aiming. He's worse than Adrian Peterson is at disciplining his children. Unlimited ammo guy conveniently runs out at the perfect time for this asshole to get shot by another conveniently placed guy. Did they hire the T-1000 to kill the kids? <laughs> People who should know better loudly speak into their mics about secret bomb ingredients. Oh, yeah, now is the time to shut your friends up. Your uncle was Guy Fox? Or V? If you can keep them from eavesdropping by covering the necklace microphone with your hand, then what was the point of all the silent typing out shit earlier? This is horrifying, I'll admit, but why are they naked? Did she f them and then mutilate their genitals? I'm just playing this out here, you're the one showing me the visual. But it had to happen somehow, right? Why did they agree to fuck in such a wide open and filthy space during a death competition? Man, it's almost like there's not a death competition going on right now. Hey, I don't know if Shuya killed that guy on purpose or not. Better kill him on purpose just to make sure. This girl is addicted to Shuya's spaghetti, but she dies, so it's cool. Oh, that gunshot he heard, but not the machine gun fire a second ago. Right. These girls can't shoot for shit, but after 30 seconds of misses, somehow all end up with direct hits. I think it means you're winning, dude. Teacher-student relations. This is for the people who can read lips in Japanese. We'll never know what kind of horrible, dirty things they said to each other. Previously, in the movie you're watching right now. How does she know he's even around here right now? What the hell is this guy doing out here? Would you like a popsicle? Wait, he showed up to scare away the mean chick and give her an umbrella? Sh dude, if you're gonna directly interfere with the death competition you yourself are running, don't you think it could bring a little more to the table? God, I am so confused as to whether any of these people are important. Have we even seen some of these people yet? <laughs> and maybe my loud yelling. I only give myself one-tenth the blame. <laughs> I had no idea you'd start blasting. Half the people in this game got ink pens or the Wheel of Fortune home game as weapons. I had a 50-50 chance and I... would... Like to bank a vowel. See me? I'm gonna walk backwards for no reason now, because there's surely someone behind me ready to shoot that I can't see. And everyone showed up for the big finale at relatively the same time. <laughs> the movie continues to strain its bullet realism. Just because this character was a badass doesn't mean the bullets should hurt less. Did this guy really just go outside with an umbrella for basically no reason a minute ago? I mean, I agree he's a somewhat sympathetic character, but what the hell was he doing out there? Hacking and bomb making take roughly the same amount of time. 
And no one in the control room could hear through our mics because we're blocking them with our soundproof fingers. Everyone keeps running into everyone else except these three assholes, who no one ever stumbles on or finds or talks to or anything. Because bomb. I don't know, maybe from the three people who were in that one place for so long, which you never made a danger zone the whole time? This is a terrible f up, to be honest. Not only is this some truly remarkable sh fake typing, but I'm pretty sure this guy had never seen a keyboard before in his life before shooting this movie. Come on, you have only yourself to blame. I think half the students in this class are barely functional. They have amazing skills at being dumb. Watch, after a whole movie of being a Terminator, this guy's totally gonna get killed now. That probably didn't kill him. He has emergency backup power for sure. Not to mention all the souls of the people he killed. Finally, we get a look at the control room and what they can hear. And they didn't hear one thing that made them suspicious during the hacking bomb making session. I don't care how many times they were shown blocking their mics, those guys f***ed up enough to where you or me or a four-year-old would have been suspicious of those dudes. In a government-sanctioned battle royale, how does one person have all the power to prevent someone from confirming kills? So this is a confusing part of the movie, but we'll just assume that Kawada knew how to disable the necklaces. The problem is, how did he know that no army guys would show up to confirm the kills? That was a huge leap of faith. This painting represents everything Katano enjoys, killing kids and falling in love with kids. Movie inadvertently inspires the parents' last words become important to the plot thing from signs. It takes over a hundred bullets to stop anyone in this f***ing movie. Who will shoot me when I try to shoot them? I sure am glad we got to the bottom of that smile mystery. I know this is Japan and probably should be expected, but why does the Tower Records vending machine sell beverages? The young girl in the schoolgirl uniform is Aren's personal bodyguard. Gogo Yubari. Gogo may be young, but what she lacks in age, she makes up for in madness. Do you know how easy this is for me? Do you have any fucking idea how easy this is? This is a fucking joke. Hey, Here's a useful lesson for you. Give up. Just quit. Because in this life, you can't win. Yeah, you can try. But in the end, you're just gonna lose big time because the world is run by the man. So what do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. The Jets are gonna have their day tonight. The Jets are gonna have their way tonight. What are you doing up? Surprise, cockpits! Uh, football practice. Cute. Baby ducks are cute. I hate cute. I want to be exotic and mysterious. You are. You're exotic and mysterious and cute and... You're my mom. You're my mom. My name is Lorraine. Lorraine Baines? Yeah. But you're... Uh, you're so... Uh, you're so... Thin. Just relax, Calvin. You've got a big bruise on your head. I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. Truth is, I don't want to know. I can't feel my legs, Kaiser. Where are you? Where are you?